Hello everybody, this is Havoc. Welcome to part 4 of our Total War Warhammer Chaos Warriors campaign. Pick it up for where we last left off. I asked you guys to choose whether we should go west and defeat the Scaling. Since they have a few settlements left, especially down here on the coastline. Or whether we should go east and take on Kislev right off the bat. Uh, no one commented. I'm kind of disappointed. I'm not going to lie. So we are going to head west. I'm going to do that because it makes sense to knock out the scaling. I have several. I have the Aisling, I have the Varg, and I have the Grayling. Um, all under my military alliance. <clears throat> and that creates quite a strong northern border. It appears Kislev actually likes me too. Why do they like me? Military actions against the scaling. Interesting, but I can't <laughs> get a peace treaty with them because basically not allowed so that's not an issue uh, what is an issue is if they come after me which I don't think they will and if they did wow those are some really high powered units but we are going to go after the scaling it just makes sense to me and uh, we will just take them out and then possibly do what other not what other people have done and go this way maybe we'll take out Bretonia and head that direction, I'm not quite sure, but let's see where this takes us. <clears throat> see how far we can go. I am looking forward to finally uh, getting some buildings, some new building structures, and they are going to come after me. Well, that's not very smart. Hmm. We could easily take their swordsmen. Even their halberdiers, but it's those pistoliers. What is their speed? They have 92 speed. I have 102 speed with my marauder horsemen, so I could could catch up to them. Let's see. We have war banner gives us leadership. We have wailing banner causes terror. You know what? We're gonna wailing banner a couple of these marauder horsemen, and then we're gonna give war banner to my Chaos Marauders. Now there is something I do want to do. I want to replace all these Chaos Marauders with uh, Chaos Warriors. That will definitely make a difference. But I think we could take these guys on. <clears throat> it's unfortunate that we don't get reinforcements. We're going to try it. We're going to do it. I think we got a pretty decent chance. Between my Warhounds, which should be good against Pistoliers, my Chaos Marauder should be able to hold that line enough and we can maybe hammer and anvil some things and we'll be able to run down those horsemen. Hopefully because I also have Vanguard deployment. Which I could actually... No, I can't, can't deploy over there. But I can deploy over here. And then deploy over here as well. We're gonna get the Warhounds. I will we'll keep them all in one group. I don't mind doing that. And then we'll split the Chaos Marauders into uh, three sets of three. With the idea of keeping uh, a couple forces back, sending like this main force into the front and then hammer and ambling if we can. Now we have the Potion of Foolhardiness. I think that means we can only use it once, right? Gives him plus 18 charge bonus. He's immune to psychology and they'll be unbreakable. Now this is to self. This isn't an area of effect. We'll keep rolling with it anyways. Alright, we're going to start the battle right off the bat. Being able to hit them. We're going to swamp our warhounds. Over there. And here's where we... We'll set up. We're going to set up right about there, I think. So we're really going to let them soak up those troops. We'll go there. Oh. Sent them to the wrong spot. Go after those pistoliers. As you can see, we are catching up to them. Oh, 
they do have those howitzers. So I'm actually going to break off a unit, and they're going to go there. I'm going to focus on all of those guys. We're going to hang back. Who is this? Dimitriv? Oh, he's on horseback. Go back here. We're going to hit these halberdiers in the back. Here's where we start to kind of trap them. Oh, come on, guys. Meet them in the middle. We're going to bring our warriors back there. There we go. Swamp around back real quick. We're going to melee attack these guys. Let's see. Who are these? These are what? Swordsmen? They should get routed pretty soon. Uh, let's go there. You go there. Just go ahead and trade blows. That's fine with me. Oh, you get out of there. There we go. We're doing it. We're working it. They're just duking it out, so we'll duke it out. What's going here? He's active. Concerned. We're getting out of that battle. We're going to get in the back here. These guys are losing slightly. Oh, those halberdiers. Where are my warhounds? There they are. Let's get them out of the battle. Let's charge here. I want to see this charge. There we go. Oh, that was a poor charge. Let's see. We're working on those pistoliers still. They have 10 left. Let's hit these spearmen in the back. Also hit these swordsmen in the back. Peel off and hit those swordsmen. Make those guys super route. They are complete. Are they, are they completely routed? No, they're not completely routed. Let's get our guy back into the battle. I feel like I'm forgetting people. Nope. You know what? You come back over here. Those guys have definitely routed. Let's not worry about chasing them. Kidding. Let's get back out here. We're going to go after this lord. Our warriors flee. Where are they fleeing at? Oh, it's those spearmen. Those spearmen are doing some work. That's all right. We're going to start upgrading these guys to chaos warriors. Or I should say probably replacing them with Chaos Warriors. Uh, because the Marauders are getting a little old school. Let's go here. Okay, you'll charge. That works too. Okay, so they're all fleeing. That's the victory. We are going to all hit melee mode. Let's go after them all. <clears throat> Dogs, this will be. Warhounds, it's a really good way to gain some XP. <clears throat> and we're going to super fast forward time. The enemy lord is wounded. Perfect. It's exactly what I wanted to happen. You guys come over here. Get these guys going. You go here. You go there. I think the only real units are these guys left, the halberdiers. Double time. All of you come here. Really mop up that group. Look at that. We gained some levels a little bit. These guys are pretty much completely dead. Let's go ahead and end the battle. That was a close victory.
We lost a lot more than I planned to. Again, all those were Chaos Marauders. So we need to start upgrading to Chaos Warriors because that's just obviously the smart thing to do. Um, we don't need leadership. Let's sacrifice. Kislev's coming up with a hero. The scaling are moving as well. The grayling. Stolen from the enemy. Terrifying mask of e hostile agent activity was a critical failure. Close victory over here. So we are going to go here. I'm going to go here. We're just going to attack. Sacrifice. Enemy killed in battle. Follower gained recent rate plus 10%. And it looks like we have leveled up Hordred Bloodheim. Let's go Despoiler, Server Die, Ruination. We'll go Recruitment Cost minus 3%. I feel like that's a good one. Oh, we can't... We can't upgrade just yet. We need Horde Encampment. Yeah. So we're going to go here. And I can't really build anything else. Until I get leveled up over there, that's not a problem. But our other guy, Kolek Sanita. I guess we actually already replaced his units. Ooh, those that's right, we got Forsaken. I forgot about that. We can level up all the way to Ruinous War Host. That gives upkeep minus 20%. Horde Recruitment Capacity plus 4. Chaos Corruption and Horde Growth. Or we can level up here. We can get some Chaos Spawn. That'd be pretty sweet. What else can we get? We can start this route to get Chaos Warriors, which I already thought we could do. Was I wrong? What does he have so far? What do I have to get to get Dragon Oath Shagath? Gotta upgrade our Horde Encampment. Hmm, that would be worth it. Chaos Chariots... Oh, let's go Unholy Furnace. Absolutely. I want to get some Hell Cannons in there and really start wrecking the place up. So we got our allies there. He's level up again. Let's do Aura of Chaos. I feel like that's good. I don't know. Let's look first. Uh, Deadly Blade. Let's go ahead and give him some melee attack. I feel like that would be a really good idea. We need to recruit one more. Ah, uh, we don't worry about it. End the turn. I got my hero here, Treasure Hunter. I wonder what that means. I wonder, I wonder. Okay, good. I don't think they did anything against us. Hostile hero activity. Oh, he did. He assassinated us. You cracker. Okay. Well, that sucks. Let's look up here real quick. Um, the Grayling. We meet at Doom Keep. Here we go. That's good. Uh, non-aggression pack. I could destroy you, just to let you know. Okay, good. So we can automatically go ahead and get up here. That will allow us to replace all of these guys with Chaos Warriors, which is what I'll do. I have way more than enough money. I have absolutely no concerns about that. So next, we need to go to uh, Doom Keep. It looks like. Let's go here. We have Chaos Warhounds. Chaos Warhounds. Here we go. Chaos Chariots. That's what I want. But apparently, we can't go anywhere else. So I'm just going to go ahead and go forward. These guys are building. These are pretty quick turns, guys, but I'm not really concerned about it. I don't think we have a specific number that we're trying to hit. I don't remember. I kind of don't think so. Who is this? Are you attacking me? I'm attacking the scaling. Oh, our allies are. Uh, yeah, we'll auto-resolve. Decisive victory. We did not lose any. 
Units replenished. We are going to do that. The eye closes. The eyes of the gods have closed, or so your sorcerers tell you. Maybe it's for the best, a time to grow in power unfettered by the gods' demands. Perhaps more grandiose, glorifying act is needed to open the eye once more. With no need for affirmation, we do nothing. We could witness me chaos corruption plus five for eight turns. And we get total in total favor minus ten thousand. We can totally afford that. So I'll do it. Trait gain, Colex Sun Eater is a weapon strength plus five. Railing and the scaling, awesome. We have created a trial pit, which means we can now um, let me get moving along here. We're gonna go there. We're gonna encamp. And I'm gonna delete all of these guys. Instead, we're gonna get some great swords going. And I throwing axes, that's a good idea. Uh, we'll do this first. We'll keep it like that. Alright, so we could get chaos chariots. I kinda wanna. Kinda wanna. Let's disband this group. We're gonna get some chaos chariots and see what that's like. And then we're also gonna upgrade so we can get a Hell Cannon and Gore Beast Chariot. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm wondering if this chaos spawn should even be here anymore. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Come at me, bro. Tell you what, the human factions, they're pretty rough, man. They're really going at me. Mission failed the banner's rage. Oh, we didn't raise an army. That's right. Engines of hell. Our hordes lack significant number of chariots. We should forget those demon machines. We should forge these demon machines and unleash them on the enemy. We get War Machine Focus, which gives us plus two, per plus two experience for War Machine recruits and minus 25% for War Machine recruits. That's cool. So let's do that. Let's see. We're going to encamp. We're going to recruit... Where is it? Gore Beast Chariot? I'm going to knock these guys out. We got Gore Beast Chariot, and we got some Hell Cannons. I'm going to do two Hell Cannons. Demonic Forge. Oh, yeah. We got going on here. We got three more turns. He's not going to grow. Just after one. And we need two to get up to the next tier for him. Are they coming at me? They are coming at me. Dang it. Let's get away. Let's go here. And we will go. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We're going to get a couple of. Or hounds, and then we'll go that direction. We're going to come down here. Where's my... I can't go down there, so we're going to have to go this way. Oh, we still need to wait for this stuff. Okay. They're not going to come at me. They'll be fine. I don't want to wait on that stuff. kind of wish my allies would do something. Like to help fight them, maybe? Ready for duty, exalted hero, mission successful. We get War Machine Focus. That is cool. Now we need to get him. I thought over here. Maybe not. Hmm. I need to be at war with 15 factions. Treaties. Dwarfs and the Grayling. So I am pretty much at war with everyone that I want to be. 
forget that for the moment. Um, let's go. We're gonna force march. We got places to go, man. And it looks like we are gonna get split up. I don't like it, but there's nothing I can do about it. Go there. Get some more Chaos Warriors, and we'll call that end turn. <laughs> so many human factions. I need to start just like assassinating with these guys. We're going down and spreading chaos corruption. That's what I really need to do. Call to arms. The Aceling are going after the Sarl. Uh, we'll go enter on that side of the ally. Ambusher discovered. The winds of magic have changed. Let's... Let's assassinate. We failed. You guys really suck at assassinating, you know that? Let's see, there's really nothing else I can do. I can go down here. We have a full army now. Yep, awesome. So we can now move a quickly and get down to here. Oh yeah, I don't think there's anyone down there. We're going to start going after K Kislev. We're going to do both. We're going to go east and west. Sound good? Sounds good. They can try and come after me, but it's not going to work. Now Kislev, on the other hand, they may be able to come at me. Oh, please don't assassinate him. Please don't. Oh, he did. I got assassinated, didn't I? Oh my word, you think you'd like gain experience from getting assassinated so much? But I don't think that's the, really the case. We're going to go here. I'm just going to get all the way out of the way. Kislev is wide open for the taking. Holy cow. Oh man, he's already besieged that, so he'll get that. Let's go to Longship Graveyard. We were at war with the sorrel speak you craven okay fine be that way go extinct see if i care all we got to do is hit that in turn guys i am hoping we will get some more battles in i i again i'm just tired of fighting chaos i fought the empire that was fun like i actually enjoyed that but chaos fighting chaos just gets exhausting. Alright, so Kislev now realized they're in a load of trouble. Scaling are going to try to do some defensive attacks. The Sorrel got it. Assault unit failed. Mission issued. We need to defeat those guys in battle. By Sigma. Wow, he has a lot of he has a lot of heroes in that. Yes. Um, we're gonna go attack this. Let's do it. Let's just fight some empire and see how what it takes to really get them all riled up. Alexander Gospodarev. Gospodarev. Against Holdred Bloodheim. Again, Vanguard deployment. It's very crucial for us right now. What? What? We're just going to do standard flanking. And I'm just going to go straight in the middle with these guys. Let's go here. Where's the edge of the map? Are they at the edge of the map? Wow. They are. They're like at the edge edge.
Come on, chaps. We're just gonna go right up here. Which means my lord's gonna come in right behind him. Go defensive, that's right. We're just gonna pummel you. No problems there. Get these guys to sneaky sneaky up in there. Sneaky sneaky right there. Pew 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 Yeah, you realize that's pointless. Scoot back. And right there. Actually, get him right there. We gotta get these guys engaged. So that way I can hammer and anvil them. Shouldn't be too terribly hard. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Your lord is under attack. Scoop back. Get everyone engaged. There we go. We'll split up those guys. Those guys are screwed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's real nice. Kill him dead. Should probably stop with the hick accent. Alexander Gospodarev. And that's the end of the battle. That was an extremely quick battle. And again, I'm going to start getting um, experience, so we're going to super fast forward time. Super fast forward time. Is that it? Decisive victory. We lost 65 out of that engagement. The halberdiers had nothing. Swordsmen did more work than the halberdiers did. Love it. We're going to sack it. They have learned from Attila that you can't sack and raise in the same turn, which I still think is kind of dumb. Longship Graveyard. Again, I don't want to fight those guys because they have the same speed. I guess they don't technically. Technically they don't. I don't want to fight it. I'm tired of fighting Chaos. We're going to sack that. He gets, look at that, a sword of anti-heroes. Plus 22% weapon damage, 18% armor piercing, plus 16 splash, melee attack plus 5, weapon strength plus 5. He has leveled up. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum. Characters are a size, that'd be pretty good. What are these ends? I like that, so let's go ahead and do this way. Plus, that gives his him a big bonus. Bonus, a <laughs> bonus. It gives him a big bonus. Um, ba bum, and we will end the turn. All of the human factions are freaking out. Seriously, though, they're like all freaking out. 
because we're about to raise some hell. Literally and figuratively. The Sarl. You know what? You bicker and fight amongst yourselves. I don't care. The Aceling are no more. Again, doesn't bug me. We're not going to fight that. We are going to raise it, though. Ward save plus 10%. That's interesting. Oh, I didn't see what that one was. Rut row. Let's go after Longship Graveyard. We didn't even lose a single soul. We're going to raise it as well. Awesome. And this guy levels up. Of course he does. Let's get Dominating Presence. I like that. In the turn. Maybe we'll meet in the middle. We'll take out the Empire and meet in the middle. That would actually be pretty legit. And I think... That, there he is. Um... I don't think we could fight that and win. It's a lot of Outriders. Now, their speed's 80, so we could catch up to them pretty easily. Let's see, melee attack is 24, weapon strength 24. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's do it. We got Marks of Chaos, leadership plus 5. I'm going to give that to one of my Marauder Horsemen. What does decline the attack mean? I don't know what that means. Opportunity to intercept. So I'm guessing we didn't get intercepted. No, okay. I knew they were there somewhere. That's all that really matters. Okay, so they have a lot of good ranged units. So we're definitely going to want to catch them by surprise. Come on. There we go. Get those guys. And we got these guys. Start the battle. Let's go ahead and start flanking. Again, we're going to try and catch up to them and melee attack. Because they will do a ranged attack as well. Again, we should be able to catch up to them. Go here. Go here. Get out of there. There we go. There we go. We caught one of them. We'll catch the other ones. Because we're good against these guys, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's get you other guys. To go over here. We'll go there. There. And there. We're running them into corners. Oh, they routed a guy. That's not cool. Switch row. Chaos Warhounds. Okay, they are winning decisively. I was like, what? 
Why aren't you attacking this guy? There we go. Go after those pistoliers, dude. You're gonna go there. Oh man, they really did a number over there. Let's go up here. Those swordsmen are gonna lose. Come on. Who are those guys? Oh, they're just chasing. Your lord is under attack. Okay. Let's get out of this. Come on. You know, we're supposed to be able to catch up to these guys. Okay, so they're all routing. That's good. Uh, go here. Super fast forward time. Um, no. Go after that guy. Go after those guys. We can go there. We can go here. We can all even go over here. Kill this legendary lord. I don't think he's even legendary lord. I think he's just a lord. Oh, we didn't get to him in time. We're going in the battle. Decisive victory. Lost 445. My Chaos Warriors aren't as fantastic as I'm making them out to be. Gained some favor. Stolen from the enemy. Follower gain. Horde building cost minus 8%. Um, recruitment cost there. Horde growth. We're going to go with horde growth. We're going to go... Actually, I'm going to raise this. Oh, I did. Narman. Go up to that. Let's go full speed ahead. Oh, nope. We need to research something. Okay, so let's go... Unit experience plus two for Chaos Warriors. That'll work. Ends the turn. It's really cool how immersive this game is very immersive uh, you know we're 90 turns in and I still haven't united the north it's actually pretty impressive assault unit success ready for duty over here you dare. oh excuse me goodness Let's go this way. Trying to get to though that group over there. We have our horde over here, which desperately really needs to heal up before we take on anyone else. They've got a really strong garrison too. That's who I'm think I'm supposed to fight though. Maybe not. Let's go here. We're gonna encamp. And we're just gonna have to hit that in turn again. There's really not a whole lot we can do as we're moving. So, sorry about that, guys. Kislev is going to try and do something to us. We're going to have to retreat from this battle. Yeah, if there weren't so many Dagon Pistoliers, we'd have a chance. And there's some Empire Knights. We're going to retreat. There we go. 
Hostile agent activity was a success. Assassinate ended in failure. And we failed at that too. Okay, so they took that. So let's see where the scaling are now. The scaling are a horde. Sweet! So that means we can move back this direction. Let's go this direction. We've got this chaos horde. Really needs to get the heck out of dodge. And we'll hit the end turn. Hopefully Kislev can't reach us. Or if they can, maybe... <sighs> Their campaign movement distance is lessened, perhaps. That's right, run away, Kislev. Hostile agent activity... Critical failure, of course he died. Of course he died. We're gonna go there. We're gonna get out of it because it doesn't do anything for us. Okay. I'm gonna go right here. That way if they come at me from either angle, I can handle it. It's a very small human army, so I don't expect they will attack me. Come on. Kind of just been <laughs> staring at the screen. Good old Kislev. There's the scaling. Yeah, I'm not even going to fight that. We're going to fight it again. Very nice. So what's going on now? Here we go. Follower gained weapon strength plus 10%. The scaling are dead. We have failed. That's okay. That's something I don't mind failing. Um... What do we want to do? We'll do unholy resilience, which means we need... <sighs> Sorry about that, we need ruination. Hmm, I wonder if I should, or if I should join my... My allies are on their own. I don't doubt that right now. We need to encamp so we can start really taking on some... Replenishment. And where's my other dude? There he is. Keep thinking somewhere else. Let's go um, over here. Yeah, that'll work. Whoa! So we have definitely started our invasion of the Empire. Ooh. Ooh. I could be setting us up for a really good battle for next time. I hope. I hope. All of these agents are killing me, man. Assault unit success. Unit failure. This would break my vows. Let's go here. And you Let's see how big of a force do you have? No, they aren't giving us odds at all. Plus we'd have that garrison to fight with fight against we'll get encampment that will be good ooh that, my alarm scared me 
And we're done moving with him. And actually, guys, I that is going to be the end of the episode. So we uh, destroyed the scaling. We didn't personally, but the scaling are dead. We have the sorrel. The sorrel should be... Nope, they don't like me at all. So I'm not going to worry about them, but we are now facing the might of the Empire. So we will definitely be taking these guys on. And it'll be a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, um, hit that subscribe button. kind of forgot what I was going to say. Thank you for all the support I've been getting the last few days. It seems like you guys really like these thumbnail videos, so I will start doing more of them. Uh, maybe not even just for Warhammer, but for other games. Just go ahead and start cranking stuff out and see what people like. Because and I don't mind de dedicating a whole section to that, to that style and everything. So again, I do thank you for all of the support that you have given me. And uh, I hope my channel will grow and grow and grow and just never stop. That's my plan. <laughs> That's my hope and dream. Uh, hopes and dreams. We're trying to hit a thousand subs by the end of the year. At the last count, I was at 553. We should smash that record and or that goal, and I very much want to smash that goal. We will continue to move on the Empire. We just have to have the right amount of um, the right scenario set up. But I do want to get another horde in, and we'll figure out how to do that. So... That is the end of my little spiel here. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook, guys. This is Havoc, and I am out of here. Peace!